more examples on Lagrange multipliers method. Very good. So here's we have this scenario, this situation given to us here. We are the engineers. In this example, question says a rectangular box without a lid. A rectangular box without a lid is to be made from from a 12 square meter of let's see of cardboard fine the maximum volume of such a box maximum volume of such a box so well well what do we have we have a cardboard and right we try to form a rectangular box without a lid out of it and our goal is to maximize the volume so the volume needs to be maximized so the function that we try to maximize is volume function you can write it down f of x y z equals to so the volume of the box x times y times z we know that we're going to maximize this guy but what is our constraint the constraint given to us here can be formulated from elementary calculus how come well we all know that the constraint can be written this way so here you have a box am i right you have the surface area of your box and it doesn't have any lid right so what do i have here i have x i have y and i have z all right so the surface area is x times y plus x times z another x times z which is over here all right and you have two sides here which are y z okay so let me just shade it over here and there so let us write it down g of x y and z again guys we only have one base so we only have one x y plus you have two sides x z so two x z plus two more sides y z one of them is here and the other one is on the back so two y z it's equal to what it's equal to 12. so this is my constraint so since i have a function with a constraint I can apply Lagrange multipliers method. So let us begin. The gradient of F is equal to lambda gradient of G, and my G is defined this way. So let us find the gradient of F equals lambda gradient of G, and then do the algebra. So for calculus part, the gradient of F is equal to vector with respect to x is yz with respect to y it is xz and with respect to z it is xy equals to lambda and the gradient of g the vector with respect to x i have y plus 2z comma with respect to y i have x plus 2z and finally with respect to z i have 2x plus 2y 
theory. So you have a system of equations. You also have this nice constraint that can help you to find x, y, and z. So take a look at this. I'm just writing algebra. Note that I'm not doing any calculus here. It's just algebra. The first components must be equal to each other. The second components must be equal to each other. The third components must be equal to each other. So let's take a look at this. yz must be equal to lambda times y plus 2z. Okay, that wasn't that difficult. The second row, xz must be equal to lambda times x plus 2z. The next one, y x is equal to lambda times 2x plus 2y. And note that I have this constraint here as well. It is important. I'm, I'm just emphasizing on this guy as well. So take a look at this. This guy is yz equals to this. This guy is xz equals to this. This guy is xy equals to this term. The very first one, if it's multiplied by x, and the second one multiplied by y, and the last one multiplied by z, are going to be similar, exactly the same on the left-hand side, am I right? So multiply the first one by x. x, y, z is equal to lambda x, y plus 2, z. Multiply the second equation by y xyz is equal to lambda y times x plus 2z. Multiply the third equation by z. xyz equals to lambda z times 2x plus 2y. This is one of the methods that comes to mind in solving the system of equations. So since these are all equal to each other, it means that you can set these equations equal to each other, pair by pair. Let us call this one, for example, one, two, and this guy, three. I'm going to set one equals to two. Let's see what happens. One is equal to two. It means that lambda x, y plus two z is equal to lambda y, x plus two z. And let's try to solve this. See what do we have? We have, we can cancel. If lambda is not equal to zero, we can cancel our lambda and lambda. We get xy plus 2xz equals to xy plus 2yz. Ooh, xy and xy, they get canceled out. Two and two, they get canceled out. And here you have z and z. If they are not equal, if they are not zero, if z is not equal to zero, then x is y. Keep this guy. By solving 1 equals to 2, you know that y is equal to x. It means that you can get rid of one of these variables here. All right. So x is equal to y. I have one equation in three variables. So if I can write each one of these variables in terms of a unique variable, then I'm done. So by setting 1 is equal to 2, I got y equals to x. Let us set 2 equals to 3. It doesn't matter. It says, hey, x, y, z is equal to x, y, z. So, so right-hand sides must be equal to each other. What do we have? We have lambda y x plus 2z equals to lambda z 2x plus 2y. So if, again, lambda is not equal to 0, we can cancel out lambda and lambda or divide by lambda. So here we have xy plus 2yz equals to 2xz plus 2yz, right? So here I can get rid of 2yz, 2yz. Again, note that y and z cannot be equal to, yeah. Here xy is equal to 2xz. If x is not zero, y becomes 2z. Okay, 
So far, I know X can be written in terms of Z. X can be written in terms of Y and Y can be written in terms of Z. So by combining these two, I know X is 2Z as well. Oh my God, I found all I needed to use this equation, right? So let us do the substitution. Substitute these here, x times y, x times y. I have 4z squared plus 2x, 2 times 2z. It gives me 4z squared again plus 2yz, y is 2z. 4z squared equals to 12. Guys, this equation became an equation in one variable, which is solvable. All right. Here you have 12z squared equals to 12, or z squared equals to 1, or z is plus minus 1. All right. Very good. Excellent. I found two values for my z, so I can find values for my x and also y. Very good. So if my x is equal to 1, if my z is equal to 1, then my x becomes 2, my y becomes 2. Okay. Can z be a negative number? Let's go back to our question here. Question says, hey, z represents one of these lengths. So z, we're going to ignore z equals to negative one. So we found all of the sides that we need. So the maximum volume is equal to two times two times one or four cubic meter. This is the maximum volume for this box without lid. 